So um, next we have the first of our two panels. And this panel addresses the programs that incorporate student education plans in programs that already exist. Um, our first, we're gonna have two speakers. Our first speaker is Marissa Iliscupedes, and I cannot pronounce her name correctly, but I really am trying. Um, um, Ms. Iliscupedes began her service at Norco College in 2011 and is currently an associate faculty member in the counseling department. Um, she's the counseling lead for various programs at Norco College, including Summer Advantage, Online Counseling, and the Honors Program. Uh, good morning, my name's Marissa Wiscapitas. Happy Friday. <laughs> okay, so I'm from Norco College. I'm one of the counselors there. I, I, I'm the lead counselor for the Summer Advantage program. So um, I'm just going to go... The Summer Advantage program is a unique opportunity for graduating seniors from our local Norco, Corona, and Eastvale high schools to improve their English or math placements and potentially save themselves one to three semesters of coursework. Students who complete Summer Advantage are guaranteed early registration and are also guaranteed the opportunity to enroll in high demand courses at Norco College for the fall and spring semesters. The Summer Advantage program ensures students will be placed into a math or English class that is best fit for them, with the opportunity to skip one or more courses in that subject. Students will attend an orientation day where they will learn about special funded programs, meet with a counselor to develop their educational plan, and learn how to use WebAdvisor and register for their classes. The Summer Advantage program is a perfect opportunity for students to get a head start on earning their degree at Norco College. So I wanted to just give you guys a little bit of background on our college. Um, we are located in the Inland Empire. We're in Riverside County. Um, we have one of the lowest uh, college going rates in the nation. We have one feeder high school um, district or one feeder school district, which is Corona Norco Unified. It's the 10th largest school district in California with 54,000 students. We serve about 13,000 students in 2013-14. We serve 2,100 new students in 13-14, and our FTES is about um, almost 6,200. So this is just a snapshot of our demographics. So we are a Hispanic-serving institution with 54% of our student population uh, being Hispanic. And really what we want to pull from this slide is that only 20%, or less than 20% of our students place at college level English. And only 4% place at transfer level math. So we knew we had an issue because <laughs> <laughs> we are seeing students who say, I've done AP English, I've, I've done trigonometry in high school. Why am I being placed in the lowest level of English and math? We also had a problem where we were squeezing out our high school students. They weren't getting, the, they weren't able to enroll in the classes because they had one of, um, you know, they had a really late registration date compared to our continuing students. So we wanted to address that problem. And that's where we came up with the summer um, advantage model. It's a summer intervention. We're not teaching them anything new because we know that they know the material. Okay, we know you know how to do pre-algebra. We know you know how to write paragraphs and essays. But why are you being placed in um, you know, the sentential English class, okay? So we partnered with our K-12 district, Corona Norco Unified, and actually we have a really great partnership where we share a lot of the data. So we get their um, high school um, English grades and math grades from the district. We don't ask, the students don't have to provide that to us. We get their EAP scores from the district. Our English faculty work with their English faculty on the ERWC, which is, um, um, the English writing, um, senior year English that they have to do to um, place into our English 1A if they, did, uh, if, they ha if they had a score of conditional ready on the EAP and they did the training so that, they, so that our English faculty know, we know you know this, we, we know what your teachers were grading you on, we know what they were teaching you and so we really wanted to create a nice seamless pathway. Okay, so in the summer, there are, there are three options for students. Um, they can either go into a math workshop, they can either go into an English workshop, 
Or if they're already college level in English and math, all they have to do is a one day orientation. We have a strong counseling focus along with the English and math pathways. We have an orientation week where they walk out with their comprehensive SEP. And this past year, we've been able to provide ongoing um, counseling, kind of in a case management model. We hired a counselor with triple SP funds. We hired an ed advisor to help support that counselor with triple SP funds to kind of really keep in touch with these students during their first year. So the academic workshops, like I mentioned, they don't teach anything new, they just refresh, okay? Because we knew with AccuPlacer, they weren't really being placed accurately. Right? So we wanted to determine we wanted to determine best placement. So the students would go through their um, either English workshop or math workshop. They don't retest in that you place where the faculty place them based on their writing sample or based on their um, uh, the skills they show in their math exams. And they're really short sessions. English is about eight days. Math can take two to three weeks depending on if they can keep progressing in a more advanced math. And um, we've seen students be able to say, hey, I refreshed and I know the material. And we've seen really awesome data come out of this, which I'll share in a few slides. So the role of counseling, we really, oh, sorry. Please forgive my interruption. I just, to, to help me understand it, you said that Students are placed into one of three workshops, math or English, or if they are college ready, uh, transfer, ready for transfer level work, then they would do an orientation. As determined by what? As determined by either if they place college ready on um, their uh, AccuPlacer, or we do use EAP. <coughs> so with EAP, if they pass, um, just right out pass, college ready, We'll use those to place them into college level English and math if they place um, high in both. We also use conditional. So if they place conditionally ready on EAP and then did, uh, uh, receive the grade of C or better in their English senior English class, we'll say, OK, you can go on to English 1A. And same thing with the math conditional class. There are certain math classes that they could take in order to place them into college level. Okay, thank you. And so, um, Counseling, we take the lead on the orientation week. So it's a six day, uh, sorry, a, si a six hour one day orientation takes place in July. We actually register pretty late for our fall semester. We register mid to late July for fall. Okay, so that kind of gives us some flexibility to um, uh, offer this program in the summer. That's a counsel counselor facilitated um, day. And uh, we really just go over the overview of our degree programs. We have um, an optional parent orientation. We go over financial aid options, how to register for classes using WebAdvisor. That's what we use to register for classes. And then at the end of the day, they walk out with their student educational plan. So in the morning, again, we go over degree programs. We do a little bit of career and major, major exploration um, with the students. And then they, midday, they do have the opportunity to revise their major. So oftentimes students will say, hey, can I get a bachelor's with you guys? You're like, no. But you can complete your transfer level, uh, transfer requirements with us. So um, once we explain the different CTE programs, what's the difference between an associate degree and what's the um, transfer requirements, um, hopefully with that and the major in career exploration, they might have, um, you know, they might be able to clarify some of their goals. And that leads us to the SEP workshop. It's in the afternoon. It's two hours. It's a group format. So we assign two counselors to about 25 students. Our Summer Advantage program serves a capacity of 600 students. So over four days, that's 125 students per day. Um, so we divide them up into five classrooms, 25 students. They are assigned to the workshops based on their self-identified goal. So if a student says, I want to transfer, we'll um, assign them to the transfer workshops. If the student says, I want a certificate, then we'll assign them to the certificate and associate degree workshops. We really go over the general education requirements and transfer requirements in more depth. And then we also cover time management, so, um, uh, you know, uh, and information on realistic and balanced course scheduling. So. Can I ask you a question? Sure. Just for a depth. So I'm clear on your definition of comprehensive ed plan. Comprehensive ed plan is the GE. N no, they are 
kind of, because this is a two semester educational plan which we're coming as comprehensive for this population because in counseling we discussed they're not ready as first time, you know, freshmen coming in for that full two year, okay? So that's a two semester ed plan. And Mary, I know there's questions and, and we just need to, I think there's a question session. Try to finish this off. Um, and then we have another presenter, and then after after both presenters, we'll have a few minutes for clarifying questions, and then we can get into the in depth, more in depth questions in the discussion groups after lunch. So thanks. Everybody. Thank you. Sorry, I didn't want to ignore your questions, but um, I know we have like a breakout session where I can kind of really go into more detail. So um, that's our student edu sorry. Um, that's our student educational planning workshop. And at the end of the day, they walk out with their, what we're counting as their comprehensive SCP for this population of students so that they know exactly what to register for the following week when they have access to early registration. So this is just some data we'd like to share with you guys. It's, it's really exciting. So out of the students who participated in English, the English workshop, 92% of the summer advantage students were able to advance one to three levels of English. 75% of students that uh, uh, participated in the math workshop, 75% um, of those students were able to advance one to three levels of math. Our 13 fall to 14 spring retention for summer advantage students was about 88% compared to all other first time um, college students at 73%. Our 13 fall to 14 fall retention was 76% compared to 60%. Success rates were about the same. There are 65% for both groups, but the really cool thing is the success rates were the same, but our summer advantage students were taking more units. They were taking an average of 12 units versus eight, almost nine units for um, uh, first time college students. Summer Advantage students, 90% or 89% of them enrolled in both English and math <coughs> versus 23%. English pipeline completion, 40% completed the English pipeline versus 11.5%. And for math, almost 17% compared to almost 9%. So we're seeing really cool things coming out of um, Summer Advantage. Timeline-wise, it takes a whole year to plan for the summer program. Uh, fall is really where we debrief and plan our dates and our marketing materials. In the winter, we have students come in for high school visitation, um, tours and presentations where they complete the pro uh, application of the program into the college. In the spring, that's where we do outreach and make sure that they're completing their assessment tests if necessary. We're notifying them of their workshop placement. So we are placing them, the students aren't selecting. And basically, we use a couple of factors, but when we're placing them into either English or math, we're looking at what's their longest pathway, and we're putting them into that pathway to, ho to hopefully speed up you know, the pipeline completion. And then summer is where everything comes together. And I love, love, love this slide. So institutional costs, academic workshops for 2015 are projected at about $47,000. Funding sources, basic skills. For counseling and outreach, um, the cost is almost $70,000, and the funding source is triple SP funds for a total cost of $116,000. Um, that comes down to $195 per student serving 600 students. So students don't pay for this program at all. It's no cost to them. So student savings, just based on English levels advanced, students are saving in tuition $47,000, a little more than $47,000. For math, based on uh, levels advanced, about 41,000. Total savings to students is 89,000. And that's not including books that they would have had to buy for one to three levels of math. That's not um, you know, the, the time issue. So that's not counting the time they would have had to spend remediating. And parking and all these other additional fees they would have had to spend if they had to you know, start lower than they were supposed to be placed. And so this is just our information on the counseling lead. Um, the program charts are VP of Student Services. Um, that's our website if you want to access information. And in the breakout sessions, I will have copies of the PowerPoint, our brochure, and then I could kind of go over more details and answer more of the um, detailed questions that you guys have. Thank you.
so much. Sheila Isaiah, who's at Deanza College, and I'm, I'm new back to the system for both of you. Do you have any challenges in terms of meeting the SSSP uh, requirements for comprehensive ed plans at a certain mm -hmm. time? It, with our program or? Yes, with your program. Both of you had in your program right. time Third, frame mm -hmm. for the development of those comprehensive ed plans. Uh, we haven't had we have our administration hasn't come down to us to say that we need to be doing let's say in the second semester yet so okay. and, until that point I guess we will continue yeah, our 15, 15 usually it's the 15 unit mark yeah mm -hmm. so we do we do like I mentioned the comprehensive SCP what we're counting as the comprehensive SCP which is two semesters in the summer um, and that's we we kind of have it where it's you know English math English math and then Yes. Um, general ed, maybe major if they know it, and then that educational advisor slash counselor team really um, kind of works with them that first year, and we have, I didn't mention, but you know, workshops for them and uh, a lot of contact with them, and we ha invite them, or, well not invite them, we really encourage them to come back and see us to update for the full one, for the more two year, three year, yeah. To Once they're kind of in the college system, taking classes and are more, you know, maybe knowledgeable of what, what direction they want to go to. Thank you. Thank you both very much. Thank you. And we're going to